Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting, and today I want to take a look and just do a quick start here on Entex Emu software. So the quick lowdown on Emu is if you're familiar with DMXs, uh, Entex program, kind of entry level program for like bands and DJs and electronic musicians, uh, DMX has died. Um, unfortunately, um, it was kind of to the point where I know Entech knew they needed to kind of start from scratch and then the chip shortage uh, in the pandemic kind of pushed it along. So they came out with Emu. All right, so this is Emu and I had previously recorded this and then they released it out of beta so a couple things changed so we're updating this before this video comes out emu used to be free in beta now there's a free mode uh, which is fairly limited in a paid mode uh, which is not so the paid mode uh, currently is uh, monthly uh, about 10 bucks and yearly about 100 bucks all right uh, and you can check that out through their site get going now that's if you're not using an NTech output box. Okay, so let's let's run through this licensing real quick. I know we have another video on it, um, but basically, ha, they still have here that Emu is free. Um, that's not true. There's a free version, and if you scroll down a good bit, um, it's going to tell you about right here. There's this big old chart. Um, it's kind of huge. Let's make it a little smaller. Um, it's going to tell you that the free version, uh, you can basically output DMX uh, through ArtNet or to NTEC DMX USB devices. And then um, you can use NTEC branded fixtures, which they don't make that much uh, fixture wise, and some generic fixtures. Um, but other than that, you can't uh, control the rest of the fixtures. You don't have a lot of VST control, etc. Um, now, that being said, they have monthly and they say you can pause that at any time so you can have it for a month, cancel it for a month, your files don't go away or anything. And then they have the yearly um, as well. But also, if you buy an NTEC DMX USB Pro, you get three months, uh, you log into your account, there's info here. All that to say, that's uh, how you get started with Emu. So it used to be a little bit different. You used to request a free license. Now it's no longer free, even though they have some of those that verbiage on this page still. Um, but you can get going for 10 bucks a month. You can try out the version without all the fixtures for free. Or if you have one of these Entech devices or you've bought one, um, perhaps through our program uh, for trading stuff in, then you can go ahead, if you bought it through Learn Stage Lighting Gear, activate three months for free. And then hopefully one of these days they will come out with their full-fledged EMU box. And then uh, it will be an eternal license, which I'm excited for. So, a lot of blabbering there. You can download it here, install it. Let's get to that step next. Emu, you download from Entech's website. Uh, you go just Google search, you know, Entech Emu or whatever search engine you like. And uh, you can find this, you know, get it free. Uh, Emu is free for a limited time. So grab Emu now. That's the download link. Uh, then you'll run the installer. A couple funky things about uh, the Emu installer, at least on Windows is you install it and you get a desktop icon. And I like to pin that one uh, here, down here to my taskbar. Um, how do I even do that? Oh, Windows 11. I know I can do it once I launch it. Uh, the reason why is I don't like desktop icons, as you can plainly see. Um, and the other reason is that for whatever reason, it, it never shows up in the start menu for me. I have no idea why I'm not a developer. I'm just here to help. Uh, and so um, pin that there so you don't lose it because if you lose it, sometimes it's hard to find. Um, then you need a license, okay? So Emu is free right now, as mentioned, um, but you do have to have a license in order to use it. If you don't have a license, I'll show you here. If you go to patch some lights, all you get are NTEX fixtures, and, and it's not all bad, but you probably have other stuff as well, uh, and more, or just other stuff, and some generic, some really generic fixtures, okay? That's all you get. So uh, you want to make sure to register it as it says upgrade to EMU Premium to get the whole fixture library and to unlock, uh, I believe you get limited output. Watch my video uh, and you'll know about the licensing. But licensing is pretty simple, um, but there's a couple snags to it. Okay, so you have to go down here to the bottom. Where is it? License registration. Okay, really important here. This is going to take you to entech.com.au 
And the first thing you have to do is start a uh, create an account on their Australian website and then log into it. OK, um, it's going to try to redirect you if you're not in Australia, such as me, uh, to a different website. Like for me, it tries to redirect me to the U.S. website. Don't do that. OK, create a login uh, for the Australian website. Log in like I've done here. Click it again and it will bring you to this page that uh, walks you through entering your info. And then they send you an email and uh, the license code is in there. Don't steal mine. Um, oh, it can only be one license to one computer so ha you can't steal mine uh, and, and so we find our way happily back to emu we hit the cog here we go to update no license change license details enter your stuff boom and uh, then it, it contacts the internet do 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 and yeah, it tells you it's valid towards whatever date. So right now, uh, the licenses are free. They're valid for a month. And what that means is um, every month they just renew it. It's totally free, but there will be a time where it's paid. Check out my other video on that. Now we're ready to go. Okay, so the first thing to do to get started in Emu is patch your fixtures. You can select patch, and then you should see uh, all of the fixtures in here. I'm going to restart Emu real quick here, and we'll cut through that. Um, because I, I know I just entered the license and I maybe I need to restart. So I'm going to go check for updates. I'm going to use the latest update. I don't know if I need to do this, but this is always something you can do to get the latest fixture update. Uh, software updates while we're here actually happen as here as well. Um, I don't believe oh, on the about page you can see your, your, uh, your number here of what version you're on. And that's real helpful because here I'm on 22.687. 22687, that's the most recent, so of course I don't need to download anything, and I, I knew that, obviously. Um, so fixtures are good. Restart Emu to upgrade the fixture library, and we should be ready to rock and roll. Okay, so you patch. Now I've got all the manufacturers in here. It's really nice and searchable, so say I go to Gamma LED Vision. We love their stuff here on the channel. And just for simplicity and a little look at updated fixtures, I'm going to grab my uh, favorite Starburst PAR. We'll put them in 10 channel mode. And I'm going to star it as a favorite because I'll use it a lot. Boom. And then you can go and just drag those guys in. Okay. Boom. So just for the sake of an example, we're just going to do two fixtures. Then you can click out of, out of patch and now you see your channels. Okay. It tells you the DMX start channel up here in the corner. Uh, you can rename it, do some other things, etc. Okay, now to get started with some really simple basic cues, and again, there's more in the manual, we'll have more later. It's just that it keeps updating, keeps changing, and it's also a lot like DMXs, so um, it's, it's not too difficult. Uh, we can go ahead and click, you know, bring up our dimmers, bring up our different levels. So maybe we do a cue to start off our show where they're red, it's a metal show, I don't know. Then to save, all we do is we have what are called programs, banks and programs. Banks, we like to think of as your songs, and programs are like the, the parts of that song. So I'm going to make a new bank. I'm going to call it song one. I just double tapped and typed. And then first Q. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, be good to go. I can hit save, saves my current show, and now I'm in that first queue. I am good to go. Now I'll go here, bring up the green for the next queue as well. Go ahead, oops, that's not the right button. Create a new program. Let's see, will let me rename it? Nope. That's okay. Um, so we'll go to our programs. Again, work in progress. I'm sure they'll get there. Boom. Awesome. Now, well, one thing you do have to do, oops, unclick programs there, is you do have to clear uh, from time to time just to uh, clear fixtures back to their home, etc. Uh, so when you're programming, boom, there I've got my first queue, I've got my green. Uh, nope, reset the e emu state. 
Uh, sometimes it's a little bit funky. Uh, things will clear. And you do have to remember to save correctly. Um, and so you always want, I believe the correct way to do it is not how I just did it, but you go, when you create a new program, it basically saves that program. Um, and it keeps whatever you last did in the previous program. Oh no, it's there. It's good. Um, so yeah, it, it kept the first queue fine, but the second queue, I created it. I changed the lights and then I hit save, I believe. Yeah, now I've got first queue and I've got my second queue all ready to go. And if I hit clear to send everything back to zero and I reload those queues, um, they will tend to work, but, but sometimes they hold on, I admit. I'm still getting used to this workflow here. Basically, like if I clear everything to zero, it's now keeping it in that program, but I haven't saved the show yet, so it actually doesn't overwrite that program and I can reload it back to the current state. So it's kind of an interesting undo that you have there, uh, basically where when you move things in a program, it is saving the changes in that program. And if you go to different programs, you know, say I go and create another one, so now I go to this one and I take down the green on, this, on these lights, and then I go to this one and I add in the blue at least a little bit. And if I do that and save, we're going to save all the things and overwrite what's written for, for everything we've changed since we last saved, okay? Um, and so then I can go in, I can be like, yep, yep, yep. And so it takes a little bit getting used to the workflow. I admit it's new to me as well, but if you want to join us for the ride, I think as we grow, as the program continues to grow, uh, Emu is going to be a really great option for those bands, DJs, even smaller churches and community theaters that are looking to get started with lighting. So if that sounds like you, uh, this is the very basics to get started. Um, last but not least, you can go to shows. This is the default show. You can rename it to whatever you want. You can create new shows. You can copy, delete, all kinds of good stuff um, right there as well. But it's telling me I got to do this first. Then you have the ability to to call it uh, whatever you'd like, create multiple shows, have fun. Uh, I hope this gives you a good start to EMU. We'll continue to have more EMU content as it gets better and better. But for now, thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, head over to LearnStageLearning.com, grab my free guide to begin with lighting, and we will see you in our next video. Thanks.